Hello, I've got this link it one, the ultimate developer board for wearables and internet of things. Basically it's a board with like a, that's like an Arduino but with every sensor or every communications protocol you can think of. It's got a processor, classic one, a GSM so you can connect to the internet, GPRS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, micro SD card, audio. And you can support Arduino shields, same pin. Similar pin layout to Arduino, TTL thing, USB, audio in and out, and a LiPo, LiPo um, battery charging circuit. Here it's this full specs, 32 bit arm, and a fast rate, way faster than Arduino usually runs, right? Uh, GSM, G uh, GPR, so you can get like a 3G, 2G SIM card, send text, that sort of thing. And Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, oh, and it's focusing, BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy, which means it can support the iPhone, so Bluetooth protocol, uh, GPS, micro SD card, audio out, and it's actually in as well, you missed that out on there. Optimal for wearables, it is a bit big for wearables, I'll show you what it's like on arms, but um, it's quite cool. It's quite a nice system on a chip with all these on one chip, no different chips, that's awesome. Then we put out, also it's got those Grove interfaces, those two, uh, I squared C, and they have loads and loads and loads and loads of sensors. Every sensor you can think of with a classic um, mouse port that you can plug in. Uh, what else have we got? Classic interfaces, digital I.O., analog input, I squared C, SPI, UR, PWM, yeah, everything you expect. Dual devices and apps with the SDK. For the Arduino IDE, so you have some sort of SDK, which means you can compile this on the classic Arduino, and you should be able to use all the Arduino code and commands that you expect to use. Uh, from this, from the website, see Studio, made in China, innovate with China, not made in China, no longer made in China, it's innovating in China. If you open this up, and you open this up with one hand, there we go. There's the board, let's put it that way. So the one, the, there's two growth sensors on the, on on there. Uh, there's ground, five volt, SDNSCL, RXTX, and ground. Here is the um, classic Arduino pinout, uh, USB audio in and out. There are other switches like this one, SD SD card and SPI. On the back of it is an SD card. Seems like the SD card and SPI share the same bus. If you want to use SPI, you can't stick an SD card in. If you want to use SD card, you can't use SPI. If you want to use SPI, use an SD card shield. There's that switch. What else have you got? Power select, battery or USB. There you go, pretty simple. There's the battery, Lipo, JST, classic, classic. Oh, I'm not sure if I can see that. Well, assume that there it is, there it is, you saw it. Cool. What else have you got? USB phone charger kind of one, uh, micro, yes, yes, micro. And he's an SW to UART, I believe this might be a, um, a thing for programming this, this device, not sure yet. On the back is one giant chip, there's probably a big heatsink. There's a switches, IMEI, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, input 5 volts, 1 amp, quite nice. There it is. As you can see, there's a hole going right through the casing, right through the PCB, all the way through the other end. Same for this hole, which goes around here. You can see there's a... You can't see that, but it goes all the way through. And there it is, it says Link Studio version 1, ages ago, by Seed Studio. Uh, there's a reset switch, which you kind of expect on an Arduino. I wonder if there's any LEDs. Mm. Same price as an Arduino, pretty much. Um, I think that's about it. Not much else. Oh yeah, there's antennas. There's GSM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. There we go. What else is in the box? There we go. There's a nice battery. Let's see how big it is. Well, we're up. 1050 milliamp hours. Pretty classic. 
This board says this board says it'll take one amp, one amp right there. I'm assuming that's where all the antennas plugged in, because that's a huge current draw for this battery. If it's battery powered, you want it to be running on low power. There, there's the three antennas. That looks like GPS. I'm not sure what the other two are. Doesn't say. It's probably pretty obvious. Nice quick cut start guide. We definitely need something like this because it's brand new. You don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. It tells you which antennas. That's great. But number two is GPS. Yes. Number three, which is the flat one, is Wi Fi, Bluetooth. That's that flat one there. GSM is the big fat one. And a lithium ion. You know what that looks like. Oh, it opens up good. Instructions, I like it. It's all Arduino. Register on the website. Download the developer's guide. Really? Okay. It's all this DK. Select the one. Oh, it's let the link at one. That's it. It works. You should know. This is so small. Uh, changes and modifications. Don't modify it. It complies with the CC. Don't screw around. Okay. What else do we have? C Studio, MediaTek went together and made some kits with some growth sensors, LEDs, capacitors. And that's it. One more guide. Oh, I like these guides, man. It's so much better than having them bookmarked and going through loads and loads of tabs just to find the right guide. Especially the Raspberry Pi pin out. Every time, you have to bookmark that. It's nice that they give you physical copies of everything. However, you can't open it with just one hand. There we go, we got it. Come on. Ew. That's so tight. Oops. Cool. So what have we got here? Let's see. So mass storage. Boot up. Oh yeah. That's not just an SD card slot. That's an SD card and SIM card. Oh yeah, that's a SIM card and SD card slot. You put a SIM card in there, you can do the GSM stuff. You can't put a SIM card and SD card at the same time because they use the same slot, so if you want an SD card, use a shield. Here's a mass storage boot up. What are you doing? Mass storage and normal boot up, so if you want to boot up from an SD card, there's normal storage, normal boot up, so your USB and lithium in mind, we kind of guessed that at the beginning. Reset, it is color coded, so ground is black. Where does power, control, digital, analog, oh that's quite cool, and materials, and a nice pin here, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so where have we got, classic, I think this is similar to the Arduino, which is quite nice. PDC inputs 0 to 5 volts, this one's nice, I like that. SD and SCL. There's that TTL thing, um, I think you reprogram the device with that. Two growth ports, what else have we got? No GPIOs, SDA, SCL. Oh, there is an LED! Yes! There's an LED on D13, as you'd expect, with an Arduino. Yes, I would like to look at that. A lithium ion, USB UART of serial, headphone jack with mic. What else have we got? PWMs, like Arduino, tells you the frequencies and how the resolution. More LEDs, I think that's TXRX is the uh, programming LEDs, good. MCU chip is their chip, nice. USM frequencies, GPRS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, SD card, nice, 32 gigs, that's nice, that's really cool. GPS uses GLONASS, which is the Russian version, nice. Audio co codec, um, codec, uh, pretty much everything you can you want, uh, not flax, so. All digital bins operate under 3.3 volts for low driving current. Only oh, signal. Okay, cool. So digital pins operate under 3.3 volts with low driving current ability. Does that mean it can't drive 5 volts off the digital pins? So 3.3. However, you can take in a DC of 0 to 5. Okay. That's it. 
I think I'll open it up and uh, plug it to a computer and see how it works. <laughs>